Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about purchase accruals. So in Acumatica, we have the ability to track everything that has been received but hasn't been billed yet. We're talking about purchasing. So we have a purchase order, we receive it into stock, but we didn't quite yet get the bill. So we have a bunch of reports in the system to keep track of that. All of these reports, if we click on show all, we have a, a purchase accrual summary and accrual details, and you can see the billing summary here as well. But Acumatica has added a new screen for the purchase accrual balance. It's an inquiry screen. So if we go over to it, and what it shows is it shows a list of documents. So it'll show us purchase order receipts and returns and it counts payable bills. But why is it showing this to us? So for purchase order receipts, it is those haven't been billed yet. You can see here the unbilled amount is $494.14. If we open up the purchase receipt, or you can open up the PO here too, and we go to billing, Notice there is no bill attached because we didn't get the bill from the vendor yet. So no bill in the system. The system is keeping track of this for us. And that value at $494 is still in our inventory purchase accrual account. It'll work its way out. As soon as we get the accounts payable bill, we enter it, release it, and then that balance will get transferred over to your AP account. So the same thing holds true for PO returns. Again, you can see what's going on here. We have 11 cents negative of a return. But then we also have AP bills. So in this screen, it's showing us that this particular bill has a not received amount. So what happened here? Well, in Acumatica, we have the ability to create a purchase order and actually enter a bill before we get the contents. So the way that works is if we create a new purchase order, and we'll select the vendor. Now, before we select the vendor, there's a checkbox inside the vendor profile. So if you open up the vendor profile and you go to purchase settings, there is allow AP bill before receipt. So again, we're gonna create a bill. We get the bill before we actually go in and receive it. So that gives us flexibility. The other option, of course, is you could do a prepayment but then you have to match the prepayment up and everything. Sometimes this is easier if the vendor has that invoice for you in advance. Some vendors work that way. So, but if we close this and then we also go to the other tab, this is inherited from the vendor. So later on, you could take a look at this checkbox when you want to finish this purchase order and create a bill from it. But if we go back and we add an item, put in quantity three here. We'll remove the hold on the purchase order. We'll approve it. We're an admin, so we can approve it ourselves. And then we can go over here to our ellipse menu and enter the AP bill. That option is enabled. And if we select it, it'll bring up the bill. Now again, keep in mind that flag, you have to make sure the vendor is allowing this Otherwise, you'll get an error message before the screen. So we'll put the invoice number in here. And we'll remove the hold and release it. So that's what we did. We put a bill in for that purchase order. If we scroll over to the right, you will see on the line the PO number. If we open it up and we click on the PO history, you can see the bill here. A lot of people ask me, why did Acumatica add this a ways ago? This was actually added a few years ago because of this reason, the ability to separate the purchase receipt and the bill as they may happen in a different order. So if we go back to our purchase accrual balance inquiry screen, our new one, and we refresh, notice you have a new document here for that AP bill. And that's what it's telling us. It's giving us a list of bills that we've created, but they haven't been received yet. 
The other thing we could see is values for drop ship amount, but not invoice. So let's take a look at how that's done. So we click on and do a new sales order. We'll select our customer. We'll choose an item. Say quantity two here. And then this is gonna be a drop ship. This line is gonna be drop shipped. So let's scroll over to the right and we'll mark this for a PO. You're doing a lot of mark for PO, then you'll probably wanna move these two columns closer over to your quantity. Um, but we'll select drop ship here. And we can do this from our main purchasing screen. We have a processing screen that can scoop up all of these mark for PO orders and lines and generate all your purchase orders. But in this case, we'll click over here and we'll create a purchase order. So we'll say process all. There's only one purchase order being created, so we're brought right into the purchase order. So drop ship, it's all set up. It's linked back to the sales order number. You can see here. And if we remove the hold and go into our lips menu, we can enter the AP bill because this vendor allows it. Again, make sure you check the vendor profile. That's a preference whether the vendor will send you, whether you want to allow entering AP bills before you receive. But we'll put in the vendor invoice number. We'll remove the hold and we'll release. Keep in mind, my preferences have holds everywhere. Normally you don't have a hold on some of these screens. Uh, they're generally, the hold is generally for additional workflows where you want to hold things up before somebody can maybe take another look at it, assuming you're not using approvals already. But if we go back to purchase accrual by balance and we refresh, again, now you can see that new AP bill. And it's $500 drop ship, but not invoice, meaning we didn't invoice the customer. So that's a red flag. So this screen gives us good visibility as to what's pending. What do we need to create AP bills? What purchase receipts are out there? But we still have 687,000 of bills that we can plan on. The vendors are probably not going to forget about it. The fact that we have $2,200 in bills, but we haven't received that yet. It's also important. The fact that we have a bill for $750 in total, but we have an invoice, the customers for this stuff. So these are very important. Notice you can go back your fiscal period. And this is helpful too, because you may have some dates that cut over. You may have a bill that you posted in one period and the purchase receipt was posted in another period. So this will give you a, a good ability to go back in time and see what happened in that particular fiscal period. So that's it. That's our new purchase accrual balance by period inquiry screen. It gives you a lot of visibility from an accounting perspective. It'll give you the ability to reconcile this purchase accrual account. Thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions for us about this or anything else, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.